On the 29th of October 2025, an extraordinary event unfolded unseen behind the Sunday. Our inability to directly observe this spectacle only deepened our profound concern. A peculiar object, whose properties differed markedly from any known celestial body in our solar system, became the focus of attention. Even more intriguing was its subsequent trajectory. This visitor from another galaxy, designated 3I Atlas, streaked through the corona at approximately 210,000 kilometers per H hour concurrently, Mars occupied its closest position to the Sunday in recorded history. This coincided with a peak in solar activity. Sunspot numbers surged dramatically. Plasma eruptions occurred in rapid succession and the Sunday's magnetic field underwent a reversal. It was within this violent solar storm that 3I Atlas slipped silently into the corona. Was this a mere coincidence or a carefully orchestrated maneuver? The distinction between the two is subtle. The perihelion offered an ideal opportunity to alter course, what scientists call a maneuvering turning point, at peak velocity within the Sunday's deep gravitational well. Even the slightest nudge could drastically alter an object's trajectory. Yet all this unfolded while we remained utterly unaware. From Earth's perspective, 3I Atlas had slipped behind the solar disk, severing all contact. Now the suspense reaches its most captivating phase. Multiple probes from various research institutions are preparing to traverse the tail of 3I Atlas. These include HERA, ESA's IDAR mission, Europa Clipper, NASA's spacecraft, and JUSO. They are calibrating their instruments to collect material born around another star. Human scientific instruments have never encountered such unique matter. What secrets will spectral analysis reveal? What unique ions will the probes capture? Answers will unfold over the coming weeks. This video delves into the data already recorded by current missions, the potential significance of helium data, and why the next few weeks will finally resolve the question that has puzzled us since 2017. What exactly is this interstellar visitor made of? Want to track the latest developments in real time? Subscribe to our channel now. We provide in-depth, objective analysis, presenting only the facts. Finally, consider a stunning discovery. A team from the University of al Yin, led by Sabir Perferes Katot, traced the motion of 3I Atlas over 10 million years. These trajectories were recorded with astonishing precision by the Gaia Observatory. Their findings could fundamentally reshape our understanding of this celestial body's origins. The Gaia Observatory's instruments have operated for over a decade, tracking billions of stars in the Milky Way with extraordinary precision. The mission's objective seemed straightforward, locate 3I Atlas's parent star system. Yet, the results turned out unexpectedly peculiar. Scientists identified 93 potential close encounter events. These events indicate the object may have come sufficiently close to a star to be gravitationally deflected from its original path. While 62 of these events appear significant, the crucial fact is that none were close enough or lasted long enough to substantially alter 3I Atlas's orbit. Consequently, its parent star remains undiscovered and its trajectory appears impossible to fully trace. This raises profound questions. The research team reached a relatively cautious conclusion, suggesting the most likely scenario is that 3I Atlas originated from the thin disk, the region where younger stars cluster, rather than the older, thicker disk. However, this conclusion barely narrows the search, as the thin disk extends tens of thousands of light years and contains billions of stars. An alternative hypothesis suggests this ancient object may have originated from an early stellar system, specifically the protoplanetary disk of the Zymir planet. Simply put, its age could predate the entire solar system. Imagine drifting through the vast Milky Way for billions of years before accidentally stumbling into our backyard. Truly fascinating. Let's continue our exploration. Now we turn our attention to the Mars flyby event on the 3rd of October. Europe's ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter captured images of Comet 3I Atlas from a distance of approximately 32 million kilometers. 
The Cassis camera was originally designed to photograph the Martian surface from hundreds of kilometers above, not dim comets tens of millions of kilometers away. NASA likened the challenge to trying to make out a smartphone on the moon from Earth, yet astonishingly, the image was captured. The faint white speck shows a distinct tail with a glowing cloud of gas and dust surrounding the nucleus. This tiny pixel carries the story of a grand interstellar journey. This celestial body began its active phase well before reaching perihelion. Material is now ejected in jets and its spectrum may conceal vital clues about its interstellar history. We will continue monitoring subsequent data. The most exciting part is just beginning. The very fact that the coma can be identified from such immense distances speaks volumes. This celestial body began actively ejecting material long before the transition period, brimming with vitality and dynamic activity, truly fascinating. On the 14th of October, the GEMO's South Spectrograph at Chile's Los Campanas Observatory captured a composite image of 15950 second exposures from the South Gemini Telescope, revealing a fan-shaped jet streaming directly from the comet's nucleus toward the Sunday. This jet, approximately 10 kilometers long, extends above the comet's surface. While cometary jets are common, they almost always point away from or at an angle to the Sunday. Jets directed toward the Sunday are extremely rare. This suggests asymmetric heating or localized venting regions on the comet's surface. Akin to a focused nozzle, it's truly unusual. But the excitement doesn't stop there on the same day. The punched satellite constellation also observed Comet 3 Iatlas. Although the mission's primary focus is studying the corona and solar wind, not comets, this celestial object appeared clearly in their data. Independent researchers Thomas Lemoyne and Marshall Eubanks processed these images and confirmed its position matched previous calculations perfectly. Why is this significant? The punch satellites observe using different wavelengths and polarization modes. The fact that 3i Atlas appears distinctly across these different channels indicates measurable interactions with the solar wind. This is not an artifact of data processing, but a genuine physical feature. The 29th of October 2025 marks 3i Atlas's perihelion. At 11.47, it will be closest to the Sunday, approximately 203 million kilometers away, slightly below Mars's orbit. At this point, it will reach maximum velocity, presenting the optimal window for orbital maneuvers. It is precisely during this critical moment that even a minor nudge could significantly alter its flight path. We are closely monitoring every possible clue. The shape of the jets, multi-wavelength measurements, and dust behavior, all these reveal the true physical mechanisms behind the process. At that moment, the comet was being scorched by radiation equivalent to about 83 million watts per s square meter. Simply put, this is the power of 33 nuclear power plants focused onto a tiny celestial body. Meanwhile, the Sunday is at the peak of its 11-year activity cycle. Sunspots erupted continuously, plasma flares erupted one after another, and magnetic field polarity kept reversing. 3i Atlas plunged directly into this violent solar storm. For any instrument, this was an extreme environment. Was this a chance encounter? or a carefully designed maneuver. The key lay in its polar flyby, the optimal moment for a sharp turn. The spin effect was taking hold in the deep gravitational well. Even the slightest engine thrust could drastically alter its trajectory. If 3i Atlas was a probe, it was now accelerating at full speed. And with that came the most challenging situation. We saw nothing. From the ground, the object followed the Sunday into an observational blind spot plunged into complete darkness. Yet now mysterious signs were emerging. Amateur astronomer Rhett Bompura re-examined satellite G-negative-19 imagery and discovered what appears to be 3i Atlas traversing the solar corona. If confirmed, this would mark the first appearance of an interstellar object in coronagraphic imaging. 
NASA has yet to formally verify this, partly due to communication delays caused by the US government shutdown. Is this merely an artifact in the data or a groundbreaking observational discovery? Meanwhile, the International Asteroid Warning Network, yawn supported by NASA and operated under the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs, UNOSATS, launched a coordinated exercise simulating planetary defense system responses to this interstellar visitor. This marks the first unled observation initiative targeting an interstellar object. Officially described as an exercise preparing for potential future threats, the timing itself is significant. This operation commenced as 3i Atlas exhibited anomalous behavior, potentially suggesting gaps in our current models. Two of the most advanced interplanetary missions are now heading toward ideal observation orbits. HERA, ESA's probe, and NASA's Europa Clipper may either traverse the comet's ion tail directly or fly by at hazardous distances. HERA's observation window spans the 25th of October to the 1st of November, while Europa Clipper's window runs from the 30th of October to the 6th of November. Should any probe collect samples from the comet's tail and detect charged particles, magnetic field distortions, or heavy ions, phenomena uncommon in typical solar system comets, it would mark humanity's first capture of material originating from another star. This is not a distant fantasy, but a clearly defined objective. ESA's JUSO probe is also poised to observe 3I Atlas between the 2nd of November and 25, coinciding with its peak activity. One detail to note, the probe currently uses its large high-gain antenna as a thermal shield, necessitating data transmission via auxiliary antennas. In layman's terms, we won't be able to publicly view the observation results for the next 26 years. Yes, it's regrettable, but the equipment will remain operational. The next critical approach occurs on the 3rd of November, when the comet will pass approximately 966,000 kilometers from Venus. On the 19th of December, six days before Christmas, it will reach its closest approach to Earth, at a distance of approximately 266.8 million kilometers. This is over 600 times farther than the Moon, posing no practical risk. Yet the distance is sufficient for serious astronomical observations, including spectral analysis, polarization measurements, and photometry. All necessary instruments are ready. Next comes Jupiter. On the 16th of March, 2026, the 3 i Atlas will approach to within 54.7 million kilometers. By then, the Juno probe will be equipped with cameras and radio receivers, ready to capture any potential signals. Avi Loeb does not assert, this is an alien spacecraft. His statement is more cautious. He believes this opportunity is significant enough to warrant data collection, and we must pursue it with full effort. The intense activity around the Sunday provides an ideal backdrop for detecting any anomalies, making the coming months a window we cannot afford to miss. Loeb's perspective is straightforward. A rare opportunity must be seized. His Galileo project has already activated three observatories monitoring Earth's atmosphere for any anomalous objects or microsatellites. Simultaneously, Loeb has called on radio observers to listen for potential electromagnetic signals from 3i Atlas. Several observation points have begun debugging their equipment, which is genuinely intriguing. What matters most is the next development. Recently on Joe Rogan's podcast, Lubin revealed he is actively working to release images of 3i Atlas captured by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter's high-resolution camera on the 2nd of October. According to him, these may be the clearest images of the object to date. When 3i Atlas passed, approximately 19 million miles, 30.6 million kilometers from Mars, he submitted a formal request to the High Resolution Imaging Science Experiment, High Rise Project LEAD, though no response has been received yet. NASA has also not confirmed whether the images actually exist. Meanwhile, Congresswoman Anna Pauline Luna has publicly called for these images to be released to the scientific community. The question remains simple and direct. 
If we possess the clearest interstellar object image captured by the most powerful planetary camera, why not release it to the public? What will we be tracking in the coming weeks? Four critical markers, each with the potential to completely overturn our current understanding. 1. Orbital path, any significant deviation from the calculated trajectory. 2. Turning point whether 3i Atlas exhibits unexpected changes in its trajectory near perihelion 3. Fragmentation, whether excessive heat causes the comet nucleus to split into multiple components. 4. Intensity and composition, determining its material makeup through spectral analysis. 5. Radio signals, multiple observatories are monitoring different frequency bands, searching for any repetitive modulated signals for deeper investigation 6. Ejection of small objects. If three I Atlas released microprobes, we might identify them as faint signal sources after separation from the main body. Based on ground-based observations, the comet is expected to emerge from the Sunday's glare around the 11th of November, appearing in the pre-dawn eastern sky. For amateur astronomers with telescopes of at least 200 mm aperture, this presents a rare opportunity to validate scientific hypotheses with empirical data rather than subjective conjecture. The optimal viewing window for 3i Atlas is anticipated in late November, when amateur observing conditions will be at their best. Professional observatories will transition to continuous tracking mode to ensure we capture every critical moment. What exactly caused the peregrine phenomenon, frankly, it remains unclear at this stage. Data continues to stream in, and the research team is diligently compiling and verifying this information. One crucial piece of information is already confirmed. 3i Atlas has safely passed its perihelion. It is now accelerating away from the Sunday, with multiple instruments poised to collect unprecedented flight data. This is our opportunity to reveal the true nature of this mysterious object. Is it an extraordinary comet, a strange celestial body, unlike any we've encountered before, or does it belong to a third category of objects we have yet to recognize? Whatever the final answer may be, in the coming weeks, we will learn more about this interstellar visitor than in all previous years combined. Every spectral data set, every polarization measurement, every light curve is like a puzzle piece contributing to the ultimate answer. If you found this analysis helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. That way, you won't miss any updates as new observational data becomes available. Share your thoughts in the comments, is 3i Atlas an atypical comet, or an interstellar visitor hiding deeper mysteries? Also, share this video with friends interested in this topic. Stories like this make us rethink the meaning of gazing at the night sky. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.